Coming to the next question, a person with a brain lesion is coming with the macular sparing and he is coming with the homonymous hemianopia. What could be the site of the lesion? So, this is a direct question. If we have homonymous hemianopia, this starts from the optic tract, right? So, um, till the optic tract means before the optic tract, we do not get the homonymous hemianopia. The first lesion that leads to homonymous hemianopia is the optic tract. Now, along with the homonymous hemianopia, if you are getting the macular sparing also, that can be none other but the occipital cortex. So, answer will be the occipital cortex because if there is a lesion in the optic nerve, you will have the ipsilateral total blindness. We will have the ipsilateral total blindness plus we will have the contralateral normal visual acuity. In cases of optic chiasma, we will get the bi-temporal, bi-temporal hemianopia. In cases of the optic tract, we get the homonemus, homonemus hemianopia. But homonemus hemianopia along with the macular sparing is found in the occipital cortex and also remember that this will be um, homonemus or uh, hemianopia will also be contralateral. Homonemus hemianopia with the macular sparing, this is also contralateral. So, sometimes they can also ask you the side. So, if they say that there is a right side macular sparing with homonymous amyanopia, then the answer will be the left occipital cortex. So, at one step ahead, they can ask you the side also, right? See this, this is my one of the quiz questions also. Here, they have not given you the theory. Instead of this, they have given you the image. Now, whenever you read this HFA chart, first of all, what is this? This is HFA and uh, how will you find out the side? So, it is as if your own visual field, okay? Go with the basic concept. So, your right side will be the right eye and your left side will be the left eye. So, this is your right homonymous. Therefore, I can say that this is right homonymous hemianopia and along with this, you are having this sparing of the central vision along with the macular sparing, right? So, that means it is a lesion of occipital lobe and because it is a right-sided amyanopia, therefore, it will be the left occipital lobe lesion. So, you are sure that the answer is B. This is how you can solve the question through the theory as well as through the image.